So introduce yourself. I'm Lynn Boyer, former world champion surfer from 78 and 79. And I'm here painting today. How did you, how did you get into <laughs> Life painting? Life after pro surfing. <laughs> yeah. So how did you get into painting? Well, I was always an artist, even since I was a little kid. And then the pro surfing tour started. We were the pioneering generation of the pro tour. So that, you know, I dropped out of college and went on the tour because my parents supported me and, you know, paid my way around the world on the surf tour. So I always thought after that ended, I would pick up my art again. And I took a class at UH, a summer session on how to paint with oils. And from that point on, I just developed my skills and learned about plain air painting, which means painting outdoors, which to me is a lot comparable to surfing because you're out in nature. And it gives me the same kind of a high when I'm on, like Susie was saying, there's certain days that it feels like the paint is just coming, it's just flowing all through you. You know, like when you're on a good surf yeah. session, like you're just going around, you're just catching every, you're the, the wave magnet. Sometimes you're the paint magnet. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's like another, you know, it's the same kind of a feeling because you're outdoors in the elements and sometimes it rains, sometimes it's windy and you just have to figure out how to keep on painting out there. And um, so that's, you know, I became hooked on it and it's, I still surf too, but it's not the top most important thing in my life. So um, a little bit about your career. Can you uh, tell me how you started and... and I picked up surfing right away. I got instantly hooked at Pokai Bay on my first ever ride on my dad's old longboard. And um, from that point on, I just kept, my parents were really um, encouraging and we went to the beach every weekend. And so I got to surf a lot and I started surfing in the HSA contest, you know, the amateur. And that, I started winning some of those along with Evie Black. She was just actually the top at that time. But then the pro surfing became you know, it became a thing. The first ever event was held out at, it's a long story, but. It's all right, I the, wanna hear. The first ever event was held at, out at Sunset Beach, the Smirnoff event. And it was the first year they invited one woman to each of the six man heats. So there was one woman, there were six women involved and the highest scoring woman in, in one in each of the male heats got the grand, you know, got the win. So that happened to be Laura Blears. And then the second year they had a separate event they had actually had a women's division and I don't recall who won that I'm not sure but I know that back in those days when it became a world tour Margot Oberg and myself were always at the top you know switching out wins oh. <laughs> it was sort of like Martina Navratilova and Chris Everett of the tennis world except we didn't have all that money fortune and fame we were doing it for love <laughs> yeah yeah and um so in 78 and 79, I was able to capture the world title. We had traveled to like five different countries during those times. It was like South Africa, Brazil, Australia, Japan, uh, California, and here. And the main events were all held here on the North Shore. Uh, most for the women, it was Haleiwa and uh, Sunset Beach. So we surfed some pretty big waves. and. Um, so it's really awesome to see how what's happened with surfing since those days. They're living, those women and the men are living the dream we had. They're living the dream now that yeah. we totally had back then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so stoked for Carissa because I've been following her career from since she was a little grommet when I first saw her surfing at uh, Kaiser's with her dad. And she goes, are you Mar Margo Oberg? And I go, her dad goes, no, 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 honey, that's Lynn Boyer. Because <laughs> people c confuse us all the time. So, um, anyway. Right on.